take for this heavyweight fight. Jones is two years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a 14-inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. All right, so the fight is now underway on one side. You have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish off because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Outstanding takedown by him there, all set up by that combination of strikes on the feet. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain. Just go for the finish. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Put your hands in the right back to the feet now. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. So finish this fight. Oh. Oh, straight right. Oh, massive kick to the back. That D, that D hurt. Gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice strike. All right, single collar time now. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch to see. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Right punches there. Big kick lands. Oh! Oh, straight right. So round two winding down. All right, so a high level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, champs, second round now. Your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. And, of course, the future UFC Hall of Famer, the all-time great John Jones. Well, John Jones in a real flow state here tonight, DC. Beautiful combination there on the field. Beautiful combination. And it's one of those vintage performances. I know he's a young guy, so to say vintage right. is crazy. But take it all the way back to his title-winning performance against Shogun and Uba whenever it seemed like he had everything flowing tonight. Oh, yeah. those nights. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Tags him with the overhand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right at the elbow, the body kick man. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And now he's got that tie. My boy 
anti clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to it. Fantastic team now. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Nurmagomedov's got the full mount. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Johnny Bone. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, anytime you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Aren't you good ground and pound by him here? Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Now potentially working on a submission instead. In attack and armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. 